And welcome back guys, GVids here. Uh, today, I'm just going to take out the gator there. Another one there. Alright, and welcome back to the show guys. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be going for some uh, sturgeon. And we're going to be getting some uh, largemouth bass in the mix of those as well. Uh, but the main fish we're going for is a lake sturgeon. And uh, we're going to load up our hunting cart with this. Um, the hunting cart can hold five fish. Uh, from what I've been told, uh, I was hoping there was going to be an upgraded version of the cart. Uh, I thought the large cart would be able to hold more. But I was actually mistaken from that. And uh, the large cart is only for deliveries. Um, not actually for the um, storage of your animals, carcasses, fish, etc. Um, so with that said, the medium cart is your hunting cart, and that is a maximum uh, amount of fish and animals you are allowed to take. Uh, oh, okay, that was a good toss in. Let's try that again. Now, I was also given some awesome advice. I'm sure it's been on other YouTube videos before, but I don't scurry those very often. Um, but when you're all filled up from the fish, all we're going to do is actually dismiss our cart. I'm not actually going to do this in the video because it's, it's going to add more time. And I'm trying to make it quick. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, once we're all filled up with these fish... Oh, nice little large melt bass there. That goes right in the old pocket. Anyways, I'm going to get distracted here. Um, once we're all filled up with these fishies, guys, or carcasses, or whichever you're going for out there, um, you can actually dismiss your hunting cart and call in your regular horse and you can also store what you need to store on your regular horse and then either bring your regular horse first to either your um, crypts or uh, your butchers to uh, sell the things off your regular horse first and then you can call in your cart once again and all your stuff will be still on the cart so you can go ahead and sell that or give it to Crips, whichever you are doing. It just gives you a little bit extra storage, um, but don't get me wrong, there is that two minute wait in between, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem usually because you're traveling uh, within the country, so you'll be alright. I hope that helped a few people out. It definitely helped me out and I'm definitely going to be using that method uh, quite often. Um, I just didn't hear just so I could make it a little bit of a faster video for everybody. Uh, I'll try to keep it under the 10 minute mark so uh, ads don't get bombarded by uh, so you guys don't have to get bombarded by ads or whatever so to speak. Holy hell look at all the fishies coming after me. This is a great spot guys right underneath the bridge here we got a ton of largemouth bass and a whole bunch of sturgeon. Uh, largemouth bass are only worth about two bucks uh, once we get 10 of those, or if you have the upgraded satchel, you can hold 20, I believe. And uh, that would be actually a good little chunk of change right there if I can hold 20 of these things. Uh, with 2 bucks and 20, that's $40 uh, just in largemouth bass. And then we go ahead and bring in our $36 worth of uh, uh, sturgeon. And that's only if we use the cart. If you bring your horse, you can also store another sturgeon on there which would give you another seven dollars but we're gonna go ahead and bring these bad boys in uh, I really hope you guys can uh, check out the Sunday morning fishing show uh, it comes on every Sunday and it's a little bit of a change from these money making methods or hunting methods or anything like that uh, just a little bit of a role play uh, I pretend like I'm a fishing host and just have a good time doing it so you guys definitely check that out if you're bored on a Sunday morning, uh, I try to upload every Sunday morning. Sometimes I skip a few here and there, but uh, majority of the time I, it is Sunday morning, every Sunday morning. Uh, and you can also pick up a Sunday morning fish and show mug uh, at the merch store as well with some other gear such as the G-Team stickers and all that. But anyways guys, I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch it on the next one. Peace.